Did a freedom come in here today? Hi there. Hello. I'd love to see you. Like you. I'm as good as any fisher lad. It'll do you no good to attack me, will you? It'll not hinder you from killing the fish to have me aboard. Can you not take your marry with you? Why not? Why will you not let me gang with you? Oh, please! Who is he? Elizabeth. Who is he? What were you dreaming about? I was... I don't know. It's gone. And who's... Mary, for goodness sake? I am. Elizabeth. Wake up! I am. I'm Mary. Reading too late. Grandma's book. I was reading about the Kempock stone. Well, don't, if it gives you nightmares. All about Mary Lament. About me. I tried phoning you last night. Did you? Nobody said. You were down at the marina, weren't you? That's right. I met this guy down there. Oh, why? What's all this then, that guy? I'm telling you. He's just sailed over from America. <laughs> Haven't they all? Boring, boring. OK, if you don't want to hear. I do. Not true, I'll be it. You'll see. Anyway, he's got this special sort of boat. A freedom. I was looking at it. How special? Oh, it wouldn't mean anything if I told you, would it? I'll find out. What's this guy like? Nice. Does she? I suppose so. How old? Not that old. You want to watch it? I like older men. I like his boat. So what are we going to do? Anything exciting to do? Jimmy, take me to London. 
<laughs> You're crazy. Well, we could take the ferry to Danoon. Oh, brilliant. Really exciting. Danoon. Well, it's better than hanging around here. Yeah, I suppose so. Where do you want to go? I'm going for a sail. Who with? This guy I met last night. My God, Lizzie's done it. She's finally got somebody to take it out in a boat, folks. Funny, funny. He teaches sailing back home in America. He's taken me for a lesson. I'll bet. She's lying as usual. You'll see. Does your mum know? Why? You going to tell her? No. You're going out on a boat with someone you don't even know. I do know him. Hundreds of times. You go. Uh, come on, Liz. I'll see you. He should have come. He didn't want to. He's daft about Liz. <sighs> but I don't think she's natural. Cares more about her pet lizard. I mean a lizard. Look, it's not your problem, is it? No, I don't mind at all. Hi. Hi. Am I too early? No. No, you may as well stay now you're here. you ask your mother? Yes, of course. Did you get a good meal last night? Well, it was different. I didn't sleep too well. Come below, we'll have a look at the chart. Right. Now, here we are. And this is where we're going. Do you know how to plot a course? Um... Never mind. We'll get to that sooner or later. There's a life jacket in there. Put it on. Okay, now, climb ashore and single up. Line. And the headline. Okay, Liz. What kind of boat do you usually sail? Um... Well, how much have you done? How are you with sail changes, things like that? You don't have to do that here, you see. I don't know. Look, 
come on. How long ago did you sail? Last season? Yes, I think it was. You've never sailed, have you? Have you? Come on, kid, admit it. Not much. You've not sailed. No. There's no need to lie about it. There is. I'm sorry. Well, why did you say you had, for God's sake? That could have been dangerous. I thought if you knew, you'd not take me. You should start with a dinghy. You get the feel of being close to the water. My boyfriend has a small boat. Come here. Try this. Feel of the helm. Feel of the way the boat's moving. The way it responds to the wind and to you. Well, that's important. You just have to develop an instinct for it. You know about tacking and driving? Sort of. Changing course? Like this. Ready to go, bud? Once you get used to it. That's it. Now you're getting the feel of it. I wish. I wish. Watch it, you're gonna jive. You're gonna jive. See, I told you. Make yourself useful. There's coffee and... You're not feeling sick, are you? Not at all. I guess you know a lot about local history, then. I know about the stone. We call it the Granny Kempok Stone. And about Mary Lament, too. My ancestor. Your ancestor? So I believe. But where does this Granny Kempok come in? Well, everyone around here knows about Granny Kempok. She was... It was powerful. In the old days, fishermen used to have to carry a basket of sand around it seven times. Why? For a safe voyage. A few years ago, this guy came and tested it with a pendulum of some sort, like dowsing, you know? Really? Everyone thought he was nuts. It was in the local paper. He said he got a reaction from it. Did you think he was nuts? No. My friends all did. I wondered. Why is this stone called the Granny Kemper? Nobody remembers, really. They say the real Granny Kempok was a wise old woman who worked magic. Grant your wishes, or curse you. But she danced on the Sabbath and was turned to stone. You believe that? I don't know about being turned to stone. I believe in Granny Kempok, though. Then there was young Mary Lamont. And she was accused of trying to push this stone, this... Granny Kempok stone into the sea, wasn't she? They said she was a witch. Poor Mary. 
Kumari. What's that? Why? Nothing. It's funny, you know. You broke my dream. I was dreaming about her last night. I remember now. And now you've come, and your boat's called the Mari Lament. Good Scott's name, eh? You're a Lament. Yep. A new world, Lamont. My grandparents went from here to America. My great-grandfather used to sail these waters. He had an old topsail schooner called the Granny Kempock. You really do belong here, then. Have you seen the stone before? No. Nope. I'll show you. You'll be disappointed. There's houses all around it now. I'll take you up there. First things first. I thought you wanted to sail. I do. You take me sailing, and I'll show you the sights. OK, Liz. Shake. Not bad. For a first attempt. You certainly got enthusiasm. You'll take me out again. You're not speaking then. Didn't you go to the noon? With Kate? No. This is Tom Henderson. This is Mr. Lavent. Hi, Tom. Hello. Who owns this yard? My dad. Mr. Henderson's been working on this for ages. Lucky man. Dad's away looking at another boat just now. He charters them. He's usually around. I'd like to meet him. No problem. You going home now, Lizzie? No. We've got something to do. I see. Well, I'll go then. Mm -hmm. See you. She couldn't have done it, you know. Done what? Pushed it over. Mary Lamont. She was very angry. You know all about her, do you? Of course I do. My grand told me. She knows all the stories about the town. I think she's a bit of a witch, too. <laughs> she used to bring me here when I was just a little girl. And she'd tell me about Mary Lamont dancing round the stone with a coven of witches, trying to push it into the sea. And she'd tell me how, if you wished on the stone, your wishes would come true. And do they? If you wish hard enough, they do. Have you wished for anything, then? Yes. And has it come true? Maybe. What was it? I mustn't tell you. I must try wishing for myself. What would you want to wish for? Plenty. Might your grandmother know something about my father's family? She might. She knows everyone. I'd like to meet her. She lives with us. If you want to go out in the boat again, your parents must know. I suppose so. They must. You didn't tell them last time, did you? Did you? No. Look, we'll have to get one thing straight. You'll have to start telling me the truth. Then I'd better tell you. My mother's divorced, and I don't see my father now. Sorry. I don't usually tell lies. It's just, it was so important to me. I didn't want anything to spoil it. People don't take me seriously. They think I am not old enough. Well, I am old enough to know what I want. I believe you. 
They still don't take girls seriously. Just a lassie, they say. There's nothing wrong with being a lassie. Not to you, maybe. You're not planning to push that into the sea, are you? Not now, anyway. Sorry about the mess, but we're decorating just now. Mom! Gran! Can you me? We've got a visitor. Come through. This is my mum. And this is my gran. Excuse me, my, my hands. Hi. I'm Steve Lamont. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this, but Liz tells me you're an expert. You know something of local history? He's a sailor. Sailed all the way on his own from America. Came in yesterday. And you're a Lamont? Oh, strange lot they were. That's a good start. <laughs> we still are. We heard something about your arrival in the local news last night. I tried to keep it quiet. Your daughter was there, admiring my boat. I hope she hasn't been bothering you. Not at all. I'm here trying to find out about my family history, and your granddaughter suggested I might come and see you. I'm no expert. You do know something about the Lamets, though, don't you? A little. Look, uh, why don't you stay and eat with us? Well, if you're sure. Thank you. It's been a long time since I had home cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that'll be Danny. My mother's boyfriend. Lizzie! Well, he is. This is Mr. Lamont. Come to see Mum. Oh, hi. Hi. Liz brought him. He's uh, sailed across the Atlantic on his own. Everybody's doing it these days, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Must be getting like Piccadilly Circus out there. Well, I'm not planning to write yet another book about it, if that's what you mean. Uh, Everybody's jogging, too, these days. Excuse me. Must go for a shower. He's staying for tea. Oh, good. Don't be long. Your daughter was wondering if I could give her some sailing lessons. You have been pestering, haven't you? I don't pester. I don't mind. I teach sailing back home. Well, don't bother. I'm sure you've got enough to do. She'll only get in your way. And don't listen to her stories. Taking your life in your hands, taking her out. What's wrong with a woman on a boat? Lizzie? I'll do it. I will push the stone into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> 